Hey, what's up YouTube? So let's get stuck into it. Client number three. First of all, I'll show you the design. So here it is. How did I win the project? It was a referral. They were referred to me by via my first ever client. They're, they're a yoga instructor. The site is totally different now. Luckily, I managed to grab this design from my portfolio. How did I get the project started? Same as the others really. Uh, arranged for a kickoff meeting. Uh, got them on Skype. I made sure that I looked presentable. They were at a coffee shop. I asked them about their current website and was able to find out that it's been built. It was built with some kind of a web builder and they wanted to have their own custom site. So I can't remember too much from the conversation, but I do remember when we got onto the topic of price. And so they asked me, how much do you usually charge for this kind of thing? And I just, I flat out gave them a price. And at this point, I was feeling much more confident. You learn a lot from um, just short interactions with people. It had only been my third time of doing that, but I was just a little bit more at ease around the topic of price. So I gave them the price. It was a fixed price. They said, yes, that's fine. Then I, I let them know, hey, um, I need to let you know I won't be able to start this project until a couple of weeks. I'm just finishing off uh, the project, uh, another project that I'm doing, but I can schedule you in for two weeks time. Uh, and that was true. I was working on my last client number two. I was still working on that. So what did I learn from the project? Well, I decided that in preparation for it, I was gonna really wrap my head around the CSS box model. And I didn't even know that it was that that's what it was called. But I sat down, I was a member of lynda.com at the time and I watched some of their CSS videos and really began to, what it, what it means when you float an element, it takes itself out of the normal document flow. Uh, I learned about absolute positioning and relative positioning, but I didn't, like I learned it, but it didn't really stick in my head. I didn't really <laughs> wrap my head around relative positioning until further down the line. Uh, the other thing I had more appreciation for is cross browser testing. Now, at the time, I only had access to a Windows PC. They're looking at it in the Mac saying, why is the uh, social icons overlapping the menu? And I'm like, what? Anyhow, long story short, it was time I got a membership with Browser Stack. Now, this allows you to uh, test out the site on so many different browsers and mobile devices. And this isn't a simulator. When you're firing this up, you're testing it on an actual device. I don't know how they do it. Apparently I've heard they use some kind of Java, Java voodoo, according to Chris Coyer. But Chris Coyer endorses browser stack and that's enough for me. So I signed up to it. I don't know if there are any other competitors. There probably are. I've been using it for three years now and I've never had cause to use anything else. So I'll just show you the rest of the design and then we'll get into what I learned in terms of project management. So there you have the rest of the design. So in terms of project management, I like I did way too much for the price and it was because I didn't manage project scope. It, we went way over, like, I'm talking, it took me three weeks longer to get all of the content on from their old site onto the new site in and present it in the way that they wanted. Uh, that was pretty painful, pretty painful mistake to learn. The other thing is I didn't multitask very well. I began the project because I said two weeks. I needed to finish off my last project. So I began this new project. I still hadn't finished off that last project. So I had two projects on my hand and I didn't manage the 
other project very well. It just ended up in a mess. And I got an email from them, the yoga instructor, BB. She emailed me and said, hey Mike, um, things were going really well because I put a lot into it in the first week or so, produced quite a lot of mock-ups. And then she said, hey Mike, it uh, feels like uh, everything's slowed down and you've gone really quiet. And she was absolutely right. I had gone quiet on her, not ignoring emails, but I hadn't been in touch with her uh, to show her any new updates. And my strategy from the get-go was to give the best client service on the planet. I got on the call with her, maybe, okay. I got on the call with her and I wavered the last payment. Okay, now remember, I'm at the beginning of my career here, so these weren't... I'm not trying to make a profit at this point, okay? I wavered the last deposit. She was like, no, you don't have to do that. I want good energy behind this. I was like, no, uh, I feel like I've let you down. Now, maybe I took that a little bit too far. I've had to rein this in a little bit because the kind of person I am, I'll just give everything for free. <laughs> so I, it took me a while to get, like, to put my business hat on. Um, so, but anyway, I just, I want to just tell you the mistakes I made, okay? And that's, that's one of them. So, but anyway, moving on, I don't want to ramble. Um, so yeah, I messed up on uh, multitasking. The other thing, to go back to the kickoff meeting, I didn't design this. In the kickoff meeting, she said, my boyfriend's gonna help with the design. Uh, if I recall, that's what she said. I don't think she said he's gonna do the design. And now in that split second, my ego, because you know I like to think that you know I can handle it, I'm gonna handle the design, I'm gonna, because at that point I hadn't, decided whether I was going to focus on design or whether I was going to focus on be, being a developer. I would later find out that you can't do both anymore. You've got to specialise to some uh, uh, to some degree. Um, so, but I said, well, that's, that's totally fine. And would I would later partner with her boyfriend and we're now uh, working on projects together. We're going to be launching our... Uh, new agency. Well, it's his agency. He's taken me on board as a partner. Officially now, I'm going to be on the website. Actually, let me just give you a sneak preview of the contact section of the site. There's me and Luigi. We're still working on it. I got more work from it. Later on, she wanted to make it into a membership website. So going back to what I mentioned on the last video, it's an ongoing thing more than likely they're gonna wanna add features down the line. If you do a good job, they're gonna talk about you. So it's an ongoing relationship. So when it came time to, I'm gonna elaborate on this membership site section because I had to choose a membership site plugin. This was built on WordPress. Now, the plugin that I chose, it was a well-supported plugin at the time but further down the line, it needed updates and it had a very specific configuration. It needed a specific configuration on the server because it was relying on something called PHP Ion Cube, which helps uh, in terms of not having your PHP hacked into. Uh, but the host that the website was hosted with, that host didn't offer PHP Ion Cube support. Some hosts do, some hosts don't. So this was around the time where a lot of websites were on, I think, PHP version 5.3, but uh, or maybe even 5.2. Hosts are usually slow to update in that regard, most of them, not all. Uh, so the PHP needed to be updated. I had loads of websites on that host and it was conflicting with this membership plugin. So the site broke. It needed fixing. Um, I offered to do what I could to update the server and what have you. It turned out that it would cost her more to fix it 
than it would just to start again. So she chose to set up the site again on Wix. Now, bearing in mind, this is two years down the line from when I first built it. It was working perfectly for those two years. When it came to it though, I had to, I still kind of feel a little bit bad about it. I, perhaps I should have done some, I could have done some more research, but it was a good plugin at the time. I later looked into it. When we got two years on from that point, there were a lot more better membership plugins at the time. Um, but anyway, again, you know, we make painful mistakes in the beginning, but that's the learning curve that we go on. And hey, in the beginning, generally we're not asking for a large price for these projects. So that's not to say that you do a rubbish job, you do the best goddamn job that you can do, but you have to, um, yeah, in this world, to an extent, you do get what you pay for. I'm not trying to cover up from my mistakes, okay? But I, I'm not gonna be too hard on myself anyway. I, I, I give very good uh, customer service. <laughs> I'm starting to defend myself now. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, client number three. Maybe this video was a little bit of a short one. I may release uh, client number four this week if I can get to it, but let me just Oh, and I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate on client number four, was actually another developer, but more on that later. Client number five though, just to give you a peek of what we're gonna be discussing, this was a website for a, a gym instructor. Oop, let me find, this is the one I wanted to show you. This is the home page. So uh, I'll be talking about that. Um, and this is one of the inside pages, but I hope you got something from this one. Any questions you've got, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get to them. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Peace.